All right, so replacing the float switches, what you want to do is find your two float switches so I can actually pull these. And as I pull them, you see it? I've got each float pulled out right here. I'm gonna do one at a time so I know what to connect to what. Uh, my green float here is gonna be my lower. My upper float is going to be the upper, which is going to have a connection about 20 inches in that's gonna to connect to this before I drop it in, and I'll show that. Um, I have my duct tape that I'm gonna connect the wires to once I cut it, and I've got my new one here. So on this unit, the bottom two are gonna be the upper float switch. Come off. We're gonna have black on the bottom, white on the top. Then on the opposite, the, the low. Now I'm gonna cut the bottom one here. All right, gonna put the second line on the first line because I know I've got a good grip and if all else fails, I'll have the second part to this still able to do it. Now I'll cut them. All right, so what I was able to do, I was able to pull both lines through with just one of the floats. I'm gonna cut the other float line and leave it in there in case I have to do some maintenance and pull something else through there. <laughs> Right here is the two whites connected into the same slot. Then you have the black, which I marked for the upper. And then you have the bottom, which was connected to the top. All right, so now I've got my floats right here that I'm gonna put down in there and uh, this one here I've marked 20 inches above and that's where it's going to connect to this metal bracket right here. So that'll be actually zip tied there. The other one will just be down in it. 